tell me a little bit about who's Keith and what do you do? Um, well, I'm a, I'm a venture capitalist these days. Okay. Uh, I run a fund together with my co-founders in the UK called Accelerated Digital Ventures. It's a London-based venture fund. We invest in um, early stage funds and in companies that those funds we invest in. Um, historically, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, uh, four decades of being an entrepreneur. Um, created the first internet service provider in Europe called EasyNet and came to the States and made um, uh, the first uh, multilingual web addressing system. It was called Real Names, where you could type web addresses in Chinese, for example, oh, okay. actually any, any language, um, which was, which, uh, so if you ever go in a browser now and you type a keyword and you go to a result, that was Real Names. We, we invented oh, okay. that. And then, um, um, you know, co-founded TechCrunch, Mike Larrington. Um, I was the founding shareholder there. Um, so, yeah, entrepreneur. So, Keith, um, um, with regards to other dots, well, what was it that engaged you to inspire to, to support the, this global initiative that, that's being worked on? Basically, you. Um, you're a <laughs> persistent SOB. <laughs> and you, know, you wouldn't let me go. And you kept saying, let's meet. <laughs> and I kept thinking, have I got time? Okay, I'll meet the guy. And then, um, so you're a nice guy and you, uh, 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 you're fun to hang out with. So that's, truthfully, that's the starting point. But then uh, the story of Other Dots, you know, um, the interesting thing about uh, what the mobile phone has done to the internet is it's made it global. Uh, there, there's now three billion of these. You go to Africa, you're going to find people with smartphones. Uh, my wife's South African. She just spent three weeks there. Smartphones, wall-to-wall -wall smartphones. Everyone has smartphones. So that has a kind of a democratizing impact. It means technology, which used to be for the elite, is now shared by everyone. And so um, you will find that entrepreneurs in places as far apart as Kenya or Sudan or Indonesia uh, or you know, uh, parts of Latin America have just the same potential as a Silicon Valley entrepreneur now because the technology, the cost of production of software has leveled the playing field. Right. So what the, the thing about, about Other Dots is it's focused on bringing the infrastructure to those people that we've always had here for the last 10 years. Uh, the concepts of acceleration and incubation, seed funding, mentoring, all the things that you, you would associate with 500 startups, with Y Combinator, with um, Techstars, um, the, you are bringing to parts of the world that don't have it. And, and, and now's the right time to do that because the entrepreneurs are ready. Right, okay. And the infrastructure is there. In regards to the, the, uh, the global issues and, and being the first social tool uh, impact on the blockchain, Keith, what's, uh, from your perspective, how valuable is that gonna be? And, and what, what can we do with that in, in, throughout our initiative? Yeah. Well, look, you're raising a $5 million fund. Correct. And uh, you're issuing tokens to the fund's investors. Correct. So what that does um, for an investor is it gives them the possibility of liquidity much earlier than would normally be the case in a fund. F funds these days last more than 10 years. 13 years yeah. is about the norm. And that's because startups take longer to go public or exit, successful startups. Um, so typically an investor has to make a 10 to 13 year commitment. By tokenizing the fund, you're basically giving an instrument to the investor that they can trade early. Uh, so for example, if the fund um, in its early years invests and let's say uh, the valuation of the fund is four times the original valuation. In a normal fund, the investor can't cash that four times in. Once you have tokens, the, the, the four times value of the fund will be expressed in the token in some way. It might not be four times, it might be three times per token, but it will be representing the underlying value. And the tokens will be tradable without disrupting the fund. So now an investor that wants to cash in early can and replace himself with an investor that wants to go for the long haul. That's the, that's the primary benefit of, of tokens. The blockchain is just a database to record that stuff. 
I mean, it, it, there's a lot of mystification around blockchain. But at the end of the day, it's a database. It's called a ledger. If you sell me your tokens in the fund and I buy them, that will be recorded on the blockchain. It's really no difference than recording it on, you know, MySQL uh, or, or, or uh, Microsoft SQL Server. It's just a different way of storing the information. It's better because it's permanent record. No one can change it. And, um, you know, it's public. So you can see that that transaction happened. So those are the, the so those are the benefits of the blockchain. But I think the token brings a lot more benefits than the blockchain. All right. Okay.